Om Aleichem, a good night of Shabbos, Pashas, Nitzavim. We're two days away from Rosh Hashanah. Today it's three days, Friday, Shabbos, Sunday. Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday, is Rosh Hashanah, Tov Shim Pei Gimel. The idea of Rosh Hashanah, as explained in Chabad Hasidus, is very special. As Rabbi Salavechik, Rabbi Yosef Ber Salavechik would always say, my menlamid in Chaslavich had mirez gelernt. As Rish Hashanah is when men's machter de meibristen als akenik, and he would say the word machter is the koronatsie from the from the kenik, the koronatsie from the melech, the coronation of the king. Little Rabbi Soloveitchik in 1910, when he was seven years old, eight years old, this is what went into his bones, deep inside. And years later, as a great Talmud Chochem, as a great leader, a scholar, as we say in Yiddish, was licked him in the Bainer. In English, it's a poor translation. What what lies within his within his bones? But li that's literally. But what it means is, what is he immersed in? What saturates him? What occupies his persona? When he thinks about the Rish Hashanah, says the Koronatsia from the Melech, the coronation of the king. You know. The reading of Hamelech before Sheikh Inad and Rosh Hashanah is very different than the Hamelech that we read before Sheikh Inad every Shabbos of the year. Here, we think about Hamelech, the king. And in many Machzoidim, including the Chabad Machzoidim, it brings from the Aaron Karliner, the great Sadiq, the Talmud of the Magid, that he reminded himself of what the Gemara says if your king, as the king says to the subject, if I'm king, why have you only come now? Why did you wake up now? And when Rabbaran thought about that Gemara when he came to the word Hamelech and Rosh Hashanah, Shachris, he fainted. And then the comment continues, the note in the Machzer continues. If this is true with this great and awesome tzaddik, Reb Aaron HaGodl, Reb Aaron Karliner, HaMananei Abasrei, what should we answer? How should we feel? Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, this is not meant to put you into a state of depression. Reish Hashanah, through the Aseris Yimei Tshuva and Yom Kippur, is not about depression. It's not sadness. It's, in fact, great happiness. But it's a serious focus. And the focus is what we call Yira, awe. Awe for God. And with this concept, we also understand how do you reconcile asking for your needs? For example, the Haftar on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, where Hannah pleads her case, right? Give me a child. And she cries, she comes to Elia Koyin in the Beis Amikdosh, and she cries her heart out. And he says, Shikr, you intoxicated one, you drunk one. Stop, get out of here. And then she says, no, I'm intoxicated with pleading for God. I want a child. You know, the Rebbe, whenever he said that after, which is every year since his leadership, he would cry during that, was, during the, that after, this after. So how do you... It's Rosh Hashanah, and, and we're asking for the needs. For one, it's health. For one, it's partners, sustenance. And for another person, it's to have a baby. And they're all important. But yet, 
We say that the focus should be on the coronation of the king, making God a king, Kabbalah soil, accepting God's yoke, deeply, inwardly. And the Rebbe explained this once, and it's printed already in his Lakuti Sichas, on this Avteira, that there is requesting for your, your needs as a selfish request, and then there is requesting because God wants you to request. God wants you to be healthy. God wants you to have children, and God wants you to have parnosa, sustenance, livelihood. It's all in the perspective. Is the half is the cup half full or is it half empty? Is what I see sadness and depression, melancholy, or is what I see an opportunity for growth? And yes, it requires a frustration, a a a a, a rebellion against self selfishness and that that can really be painful but we know the objective and purpose is growth positive outlook this my friends is briefly a very important lesson for all of history and particularly for us as we go into the awesome days of Rosh Hashanah Another thing I want to leave you with this clip on this clip is that the Rebbe Rashab said that whoever will have Kavona Atzuma, great intent, great Kavona, during the saying of Mizmar, the psalm, Hashem HaOretzu Meloyoy, the psalm that said after Mayrif, before Olenu, both nights of Rosh Hashanah, and so too, on Yom Kippur, one will have a better parnasa. And in general, the Chabad Rebbes didn't, were not into segulas, remedies. And if they did make such a statement, it has a lot of weight. So it's important to think about this psalm, and why is this psalm special? Because it speaks about God's sovereignty. And at the end of the day, all Parnassa, everything is from the Abish, that how much you make, how much you lose, how much you have, it's all the Abish, it's the all God. Of course, a person needs to invest in, in, in understanding the field of business he, he or she is in. The person needs to work hard, but not in the to take away from the time of learning and davening or the kaddish that you have to run out to get to work and you're going to miss a kaddish a shul sometimes it's very very difficult because the the justification to run out of shul right away my wife needs me my boss needs me my kid needs me but kaddish hasn't been said there's still some more kaddish that's a test and the same is true with Mashiach, bringing Mashiach, yearning for Mashiach. We want Mashiach now. What am I doing for Mashiach? Day goes by, another day, another day, Mashiach is still not here. I was speaking to a 98-year-old man in Petach Tikva, a survivor from the same town as my mother, my grandmother. And I wished him that he should merit to see Mashiach. And he said, ah, Shiach, this, Shiach's not coming, it's not true. And he, you know, he's positive about Yiddishkeit. He could be, he's a from Jew. I haven't met him yet. I hope to meet him in a future trip to Eretz Yisrael. You know, he, he's a pleasant person. An Auschwitz survivor. And nevertheless, 98 years and he hasn't seen, seen Mashiach the Rebbe says it's 1900 plus years and Mashiach still is not here what is going on so again you could be pessimistic and negative and give up or you could say no we're a day closer to Mashiach and that's the way the Rebbe lived his life and taught us we're a day closer and friends this gadget that I'm speaking to you on didn't exist 20 years 
And as we, every day, there's more technology, there's more ways of disseminating Torah and Chassidus and helping Jews. This, this is also part of the Mashiach experience. But, like the Hasidim said, when the Tzemach said, when they said, oh, when the Lakuta Torah was printed back in the Tzemach Tzedek's times, this is Mashiach, a, a revelation of Mashiach. And what did he say? He said, but we need Mashiach Bepoyo, we need Mashiach in actuality. Yeah, revelations are nice, but we need the bottom line. Binya Beis Amigdosh, Kibbutz Goliath, in gathering of the exile, the rebuilding of the temple, and Mr. Mashiach say, I'm here, come, we're going. And it's up to us. The Rebbe said, said this to us, and says it to us. It's up to everyone to bring Mashiach, and everyone can bring Mashiach. So let's make a resolution all together as we go into this year 5783. Eight, and we, we, we're looking for a better year, year, an improved year. Let us make it our focus, Mashiach. Everyone should find something that he can do, that she can do weekly, monthly, daily. For Mashiach's coming, and then we be zeicher to have a ksim of achsim may be written and inscribed for a year of health. With shana teiva masuka for a good sweet year, and see the binyan beis amigdosh, mutchias amesim, mamish now a good net of yomtiv and a good net of shabbos.